Belgium's hockey coach Shane McLeod relives the tense shootout moments and how the team had a pre-celebrations post the last set of shots in the shootouts. Belgium defeated three times world champions and 2014 World Cup finalists Holland in a close game to clinch their maiden World Cup in Bhuvaneshwar. Yeah, it's been a, a funny day. So um, we, we spoke um, pre-game about uh, destiny being in the in, in the in the year, and if the stars were aligned, that we we could walk away with being world number one and and being uh, winning the World Cup. And then uh, when that happened, I was thinking, is this a, a sad joke? Is is, this, um, is that what it felt like? For that uh, split second that uh, that we had won it, and then uh, then it was taken away from us, and luckily we got it again because it was a pretty incredible feeling. So you have a massive rush of adrenaline. Uh, you do stuff you don't normally do. I'm a pretty reserved sort of guy. I think I threw my uh, bottle in the air about 50 meters, uh, and everyone just. Uh, tries to connect, you know, you try and connect with other uh, other people that you share the experience with and, and that's why people run together and, uh, and and they run to celebrate but they, they also run because they need that connection. So it was, it was really special and then uh, to have that ripped away, you know, it only probably made me uh, value it a little bit more. Sport, sport is a bit unfair. You know, there's always a winner and a loser, and, and our guys would have been devastated for sure. But uh, you, you know, the, Holland might be feeling what we would be feeling if it had gone the other way. So you know, our, our, um, we have to give quite a bit of credit to Holland. They, they played a, a very good defensive game, and, and they uh, matched us in, in, in all aspects of the game. And then it comes down to just to the, that final thing. So for sure we take the victory, but we're also not blinded that it was such a close game that, um, that it was a little thing that, that made the difference in the end. So yeah, we would have been devastated, but I, I'm sitting here pretty happy man, so I, I can't tell you that I'm going to be sad. Yes, yeah, so we have to work alongside the clubs um, because the domestic co competition is what helps produce the players that we have. So, you know, we, we try to have a partnership with them. Um, the travel is, is not unusual for us. Like, we, we will often, in that period, January, February, we will often do a, a stage in South Africa or New Zealand or things like that. So that, that doesn't change. But um, I think it's quite exciting to play one-off type of matches. Uh, I, I think if I was a youngster, and you can see I'm not a youngster, but I, I think I'd love the lifestyle. You know, you're, you're going, you're playing games, you're, you're meeting um, the, the hockey community and, um, and pitting yourself against the best in the world. So for me, I'm, I'm really open to, to how it goes and really supportive of it, and, and, and let's see what it brings us. Yes, so yeah, Arthur Van Doren, he, he's special. He's a, a special guy, a special hockey player, and, and um, you know, we're, we're really lucky to have him. Um, but he, he's also one of the team, you know, like he never sets himself above the others. Uh, he's extremely humble, uh, as, as all of the members are. Um, but he gives us some security. He allows others to, to uh, play more attacking, because uh, we know that, look, we've got Vincent Van Asch in goal and we've got Arthur Van Doren that's going to mop things up at the back. So, yeah, it's, it's nice. I'm, I'm very glad they're on my side and not the team that we play.